What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video and finally I'm back and I'm really sorry for letting you guys wait all this time but I really appreciate you guys being so patient and most of all you guys sending all those messages and making sure I was doing okay but thankfully I'm doing great and even better than before and I can be more happy to come back and even with you guys' support it's even better and makes it easier to do something that I really love to do. So uh, without any further ado, today we're in for a treat as we have a 2021 Mustang GT. It's, I believe, one of my first ones to detail and a full detail. So I can't really wait to see the results and how it's going to turn out. And now that we're talking about Mustangs, I want you to comment down below which is your favorite generation or what year is your favorite. I guess uh, all American muscle cars. For me, it's a Mustang and it's the 1967. And it all started when I was uh, watching a movie called 60 Seconds. And if you have seen it, you guys are gonna know what I'm talking about. But without any further ado, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And also don't forget to like it. And without any further ado, let's get detailing. Alright guys, welcome back to another voiceover as I haven't done one of these in a very long time. But now let's get started with the uh, video and as you guys can see I'm working on the engine first as this is a full detail and of course I'm using my favorite uh, degreaser which is super clean and of course using a few different brushes so you can attack and get all those places from the engine and leave it looking brand new again. All right now, and if there's anything that I love about new cars is that the engines are so easy to clean as everything pretty much comes covered for you. So you don't really have to be worrying about anything or be covering anything. Of course, you also have to be careful. As you guys can see, I'm using a pressure washer, but I'm using it from a little far distance, not really close so I don't hit any cables or get anything loose. So that's the only thing, but other than that, it's really easy or they're really easy to clean.
all right and after washing those filthy tires and carpeted wheel wheels it's now time to get this car ready and pre-rinse so we can start with the body wash
Alrighty now, this being a two door car, it makes it a lot easier for me to clean, to vacuum, and especially that the customer had floor mats, it just makes it a lot easier for me to vacuum and takes a lot of time off the work that I have to do. And now that's one of the things that I recommend the most when I see that people don't have any plastic floor mats. Uh, it only doesn't help me, but it helps them whenever they wanna vacuum their car or clean their car. It just makes it a lot easier. And it also helps the carpet to keep it clean and in a good shape. Alright guys, and as you can see, these seats were not too dirty, so just with a few passes, I was able to get them clean again, and of course I was using super clean and diluted 20 to 1, as I didn't need a stronger dilution.
Alrighty now, starting with the plastic trim cleaning. I like to treat every single car as if they were super dirty, so I all give them the same treatment, even though if they're not too dirty, I still use the same dilution or clean every single detail as if, as if they were really dirty because that's what they come for. Uh, they come to get a deep clean, so that's why I do and get all those cars deep clean, even though like this one, they were not too dirty, but I still get every single detail clean. Alright, and if you guys are enjoying this video so far, please don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel. And now let's continue as I get close to do my favorite part of the detail, which is apply the 303 Aerospace UV protection to all that plastic, which it just makes the whole interior stand out like nothing else does. Alrighty now, just like the interior, we need to get all that exterior shiny too. So I use a few different uh, chemicals and you know, uh, microfiber towels and a few different techniques that I use to have the best possible results and have the car completely changed and transformed at the end.
Alrighty now, just as I put the end of this dirty, dirty windshield, it's also time to go guys and I really appreciate you guys coming back and watching my videos. So if you really like these videos, like them, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for the future videos. And as always, see you on the next one.